Welcome to the Advice Show, Media with the Common Sense Approach. So as most of the country know, there is a water crisis continuing in Flint, Michigan. Now, originally we posted this story maybe about a week and a half ago. Now, what happened, the people, the city government in Flint decided to stop getting the water from the city of Detroit and switch over to a lake close to them. And what happened since this lake had a high salt content, it started corroding the pipes and start putting lead in the water. So now you have little children and other poor people who are getting lead poisoning by their government because their government was trying to be uh, shysty and save money and put in a back pocket. Well, let's go ahead and roll the clip. Everyone who drank the water, an entire U.S. city, is at risk. It's just crazy. The most vulnerable in Flint are children like April's. One-year-old Kevin has double the level of lead considered acceptable. I can't do nothing about it but continue to buy bottles of water with money that I do not have. A water quality expert tells NBC News that just $100 a day was all it would have taken to avoid this crisis. The Flint River has a high salt content, so it corroded the pipes that it flowed through, and lead from those pipes leached into the system. Experts say that treatment from the beginning could have corrected much of the problem, but city officials never did it. The problem began in April 2014, when city leaders switched from Detroit's water supply to save money. In February, tests showed alarming levels of lead at a home in the city, and other people worried they were at risk, too. NBC News obtained an email from July. The governor's former chief of staff wrote to health officials. These folks are scared and worried about health impacts, and they are basically getting blown off by us. There were assurances internally that all was fine. And that was what the public was being told, too. Anyone who is concerned about lead in the drinking water in Flint can, can relax. Pediatrician Mona Hanna Atisha did not relax. She launched an independent study and discovered that lead levels in children had doubled since the water switch. And in some areas of town, the levels tripled. In five years, these kids are going to have problems with special education. They're going to have cognition problems. State and local leaders questioned her science publicly but would later apologize, just before the water was switched back to a Detroit source in October. Lead levels are still high, and grandmother Jackie Pemberton doesn't want to wait for the fix. And, and that's she wants to move out. You. Do you miss your bath? But like most families in this struggling post-industrial town, there are no options. Yeah, Who's going to yeah. buy your house? Who would want to buy it? Fixing the water is only part of the problem. The damage to the children will last a lifetime. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, Flint, Michigan. That is lead in the water and we've been drinking it. Like I said, the boil advisories and everything else, they could have been done something about this or they should have known something then. We had to keep boiling the water in order to use it. I got two little ones, you know what I'm saying, that's getting ready to go to school. And I got to think five years from now that anything at any point can mess with their brain or, you know, alter them in a way. I don't want them to grow up like that. Like, you know, I need to buy the water. I don't have no transportation. They still ain't been to my house, you know. I don't think we should have to be waiting on them to come. And they should be there um, willingly to just be bringing that stuff. Now, this city government, every last one of them who made this decision, from the mayor on down, should be thrown in prison for this. You are committing a crime. You are poisoning people. And if any one of us was to poison another human being and the police found out, we would be brought up on charges and took it to jail. How is it that none of them are taken to jail? How come none of them are being put out of office? I'm surprised that people haven't went to the, over there themselves to throw them out because you poisoning little kids that could possibly have brain damage, special needs, issues, and all this other stuff or something that's not their fault. Now, you do not see this sort of thing happening to the affluent areas of Flint or the affluent areas of Detroit or whatever else, because they know who to do this to. They know who to gamble on. They, they think that, well, poor people, nothing's going to happen if we do this to them. Now, national's attention is on it. And then when one of the presidential candidates, Hillary Clinton, made a statement about this, the Republican governor of that state, you want to say, don't politicize this. It's not even worrying about no politicizing anything. You have poisoned kids. 
Why in the hell do you care about politicizing anything? It's the incompetent people in your state who did this. It's the incompetent people who don't care about poor people who did this. And I said poor people because there's black people, white people, and whoever else that they're poisoning over there. You see, some of you who like to vote Republican sometime and side with some of these conservatives, understand something. They don't care about you. And some of these liberals don't care about you either. It's all about, I always say both of them are two sides of the same coin. Cause you notice liberal or conservative, you notice they all rich. They all got money. You notice that. But the thing is this, why is it that none of these people have been brought up on charges? Why this city would they go? They're going to pay out all these lawsuits. Cause you could better believe there's going to be some major lawsuits coming out of this. Now, president Obama has sent FEMA over there, but it should be the national guard is over there. But it should be more done than this. Now, what are the entertainers who are having issues right now? Talking about the Oscars and all this other stuff. Where are y'all at on this? Because I'm going to call somebody because Flint is a 60% African-American town. So there's people in our community who have millions of dollars. Dr. Dre can uh, give a whole lot of water. It wouldn't hurt him none. Jay-Z can do it. Uh, Sean Puffy Cones can do it. Uh, Oprah can do it. Michael Jordan can do it. all these people. It wouldn't cost them nothing to send truckloads of water to help poor people. But do they do that? No. I know some people say, well, these, it should be just on them to do it. It's, when you have certain amounts of money, you can't spend it all. It'd be like me. That's why I say I wish that I can get some millions of dollars like that. Cause if I had millions of dollars, Oh, I would have sent truckloads upon truckloads up there on my own. I don't want the federal government to do nothing, especially if God has blessed me to have that kind of money. Unfortunately, it's like the most selfish people get that kind of money. Now, one person who decided to help out was Cher. We'll put that up on the screen. Cher had teamed up with a water company to donate 181,000 bottles of water on her own because she saw what was happening and she wanted to help. So since Cher has decided to help and try to mobilize her connections, then what is it with the rest of you who can possibly do something? This one woman has gotten almost 200,000 bottles of water over there. What about the rest of you who got bigger connections than Cher? What are you going to do? You know, some of these people that's arguing about stuff, you know, uh, 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 come on, we got to do more than this. It has to be a community effort with everybody because it shouldn't be all on one person. The reason why a lot of those people are poor over there, a lot of people like to dump stuff on the people in Flint, talk crap about people in Detroit, but yet all those areas are manufacturing towns. And when you take the economy from an area, what you think is going to happen? For instance, like Houston, if you take away the petrochemical industry from Houston, it'll turn into a Detroit. If you take the entertainment industry from LA, it'll turn into Detroit. You cannot take the bread and butter of that economy away and don't, and don't replace it with anything that's equal and don't expect poverty to come in rapidly. Your U S government and their policies has hurt the people in Michigan and Flint, Detroit, etc. has turned their schools and you know, their living conditions in the hell holes because while all the manufacturing jobs are in China, Taiwan, Vietnam, the Philippines and all these other countries. And they treat these people like slaves in those uh, jobs too. It's not like they treat them great and they don't pay them good either. Cause you know how this country is. They want slave labor. Either they get it from a third world country or they get it from the jailhouse, but they are, they want slave labor. That's how they act in this country. When it comes to corporate America, the people need to stand up against that sort of thing too. I had none of these presidential candidates pushing that issue. You know, you really want to bring job jobs back to Michigan and everything else. Find out the companies who decided to leave America and do their manufacturing and boycott them. So we're not spending down with you until you bring plants back here so you can hire Americans to do the jobs. Cause we support your companies. It's just that simple, but what's happening with this situation. This just evil. This is wrong. And a bunch of rich people who's in charge of this, they drinking clean water right now. It's nothing to them. They're not drinking no brown water that's contaminated and poisoned. Now this people should be criminally prosecuted for this. 
and everyone in this country should demand all of them go to jail. Because I'm tell you what, how some countries are, uh, I've seen them. You boy, they'll come take them out there themselves and, and throw them out. But you know, of course, we, that don't happen in this country. But look at what this city government and state government has done to poor people. Everyone in this country should be outraged, upset, and demand criminal prosecution and demand your federal government to go down there and fix this issue quickly. Because this don't make a bit of sense. You poisoning children by your government. This is a form of genocide to poor people. Hit me up in the comments, use the commentaries, subscribe.